two new exhibits are opening at the Indiana State Museum. The museum says it'll be a chance to immerse yourself in the wild from the seas to the forest. News 8's Colin Bailey is uh, live at the State Museum. Both of them are family friendly. Good morning. You can see we got our backpack, we've got our flashlight, we're ready to roll here. We're in good night force at the State Museum here. Here to talk about this brand new exhibit. It opens this weekend on Saturday. As Brian, just walk us through what we're seeing. I know this is kind of the entryway here. You can grab your flashlight, your binoculars, and also your bag to get around here. But what can our, our viewers expect here when it opens? Well, when they journey into Goodnight Forest, they're going to meet all the animals that live in the dark, and they're going to get braver and braver as they journey into, the, into this sort of nighttime environment. So you see over here, you're going to pick up your supplies. You're gonna, you've already got your flashlight. You're safe. You're ready. You're brave. You can head over there and dance with the fireflies, or we can journey on to the moonlight shore to do a little bit of play with our river friends. How fun is this to make it interactive? We were just talking, I was like, I wish there was this when I was younger. As you get over to the, the pad over there, you step on there, it, you move, you, you chase those fireflies. So how is it to be interactive and try and get those kiddos involved doing that? So each area in Goodnight Forest is inspired by a different kind of play. Over there, we want kids to dance, maybe make their own rhythm as they, as they step on those fireflies and chase them around the area. And also, as you as make those fireflies happen, they're going to populate that. So there's sort of a spectator mode. The parents can see all those different colored fireflies in the meadow just kind of popping off. And we're going to take a walk back here. I got my flashlight so we're not so scared back here in the dark. But your whole goal is to get you know kids involved in the outdoors, right, and learn what's in their backyard here in Indiana. Right. We want to get them. You know, now's a great time to be outside on your porch, watching the sunset or or the sunrise if you're if you're really up for it. Um, to see all those animals come out. You know, that's those animals' home. It's those nocturnal times, crepuscular, being active at dawn and dusk. And we want kids to appreciate that and and be able to explore that themselves. So this is sort of a safe environment to play with that. We have some areas that you can jump and run and kind of play in that beaver den. Uh, over here, we've got some food play. Uh, over there, they can tell campfire stories, spooky or not. You know, that's their choice. Uh, but we want families to kind of play together in this really fun environment. You, maybe your, your visitors can hear the sounds happening, the nature sounds around us. We've got the river burbling behind us. So it's just a really rich environment to go out and play. And this is one of two exhibits that are opening this weekend. We'll take it to the ancient seas next. And this exhibit opens on June 8th, Saturday. So for now in downtown Indianapolis, I'm Colin Bailey for Wish TV, wishtv.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates.